And there we go, getting a view as Rick Mastracchio moves in uh, to the Soyuz craft where he'll be uh, getting the ride down tonight, giving a final farewell again. Uh, Rick Mastracchio, the NASA astronaut, part of the uh, departing crew. Here you see Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the International Space Station. Again, uh, those two and uh, Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin uh, sp have spent 188 days in space uh, since arriving back in November of 2013. Here now, Mikhail Turin, who will be the commander of the Soyuz craft uh, during its operations this evening, uh, getting ready to load in as well. Turin again, 13th now on the all-time endurance list with over five, with 532 days spent in space, uh, spread across three different space flights. Following this hatch closure, they'll be doing a uh, number of leak checks to verify the vehicle's in a good config, but there we have uh, the hatch getting closed. Closed on the Soyuz side at 2.25 p.m. Central Time. And there, Russian cosmonaut Alexander Skortsov working on the uh, station side to close the hatch. No, we have a system mode. And physical separation confirmed. Mechanical separation. We look at the docking interface now. We inspect. Physical separation coming uh, right, uh, right on the dot, pretty much at 5:36 p.m. Central, while the station's flying 261 statute miles over uh, Mongolia. The Soyuz craft, uh, TMA 11M, carrying Mikhail Turin, Rick Mastracchio, and Koichi Okada now separated from the International Space Station. Did you free up the legs? Hold on, stop. Sit down. Be careful with the legs. Okay, let's sit him down. Okay, I'm holding him. Let him sit down for a little bit. And right now we see Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin, the first one being lifted out of the capsule. Misha, there is no rush. Okay, let's go for a ride. Okay, hold him, hold him. So again, each of the crew members uh, removed one by one and moved uh, just a little bit uh, away from the capsule into a waiting chair until all three are out successfully. And now we see Japanese astronaut Koichi Wakata, the second to be extracted from the uh, Soyuz capsule. Wakata was the commander of the International Space Station over the last couple of months. He was the first Japanese commander uh, of the International Complex. He's also a veteran of uh, two shuttle missions and then uh, one expedition or uh, a range of expeditions uh, a few years ago, uh, being a flight engineer on expeditions 18 through 20. It's all as part of one increment. Wakata now being carried over to his seat alongside Turin. And there's our first view of NASA astronaut Rick Mastracchio again being uh, removed from the Soyuz craft now, the third and final crew member coming down this evening uh, or morning if you're over in Kazakhstan. Uh, he'll be handed down by the search and recovery forces here and moved over to join his uh, fellow Expedition 39 crew members. But again, with that, all three crew members now removed from the Soyuz vehicle. Why don't we go ahead and get a quick update now. Uh, NASA Public Affairs Officer Rob Navius is standing by at the landing zone. 
Rob, real quick, why don't you give us uh, your first impressions? How, do, how, are, how does everything seem to be going out there? Good to talk to you, Dan. We're about uh, five feet away from the uh, Soyuz TMA 11M spacecraft. All three crew members now in their reclining chairs after a very uh, swift recovery. In stark contrast to what we saw two months ago, just two months ago, where the Expedition 38 crew was greeted uh, in an ice storm, zero degrees Fahrenheit, snow up to everybody's knees. It is a superb scintillating morning here, uh, about 90 miles southeast of Dizkazgan. Temperatures near 70 degrees, a cloudless sky to greet the Expedition 39 crew. This uh, trio began their 188-day mission back on November 7th, uh, carrying the Olympic torch to the International Space Station. Today, uh, six months later, they ended their flight uh, in uh, with an Olympic gold performance, sticking the landing upright of their Soyuz spacecraft to wrap up uh, their six months in space. The inflatable orange medical tent is uh, nearby, just about 40 yards away. Uh, after a, a few minutes here in their chairs, the crew will be taken sequentially into that medical tent, uh, will doff their Soka launch and entry suits, and begin what is called a, a series of pilot field tests, very critical uh, data collection uh, opportunities uh, to see uh, in the initial moments after a landing how a returning crew from a long